We all know that psychology is a very important part of creating excellent and mind-blowing graphic designs. If you fail to understand and implement this stuff, it's like having a car without any wheels. You can sit in your Tesla or whatever it is, but you're not going to get very far. And by the end of today's video, you'll be able to conjure pure psychological sorcery. If you've ever worked on projects that are for health products, or designs where you simply wanted the audience to feel good and accept your work, you probably would have wanted to know what I'm going to say right now. Biophilia. Yes, it sounds like a gnarly disease of some kind, but actually, it's a tool that you can use to bring certain designs up to that next level of professionalism. Biophilia is the innate tendency for humans to seek connections with nature, and in turn, this makes us feel happy and content. That's where the first trick in today's video comes into play. People will feel good when they see your design. It can be as simple as adding a product next to natural elements to express the message that this is in fact a natural product. Or placing a new car deep in the wilderness. Look how pure and how open the landscape seems here. The designer wants the viewer to feel like this car will bring them to freedom in nature. And if you then take the same car and place it in an urban environment, then you give off a very different feeling with the design. This psychological trick, this technique, won't be relevant or useful in every single design or project, but the next thing I'm going to show you can be used on every single design. This design from McDonald's Mobile is one of my favourite designs that I've seen this year. Shame is promoting fast food though, right? But one key psychological design technique this genius design has used is personalization. Personalization is simply tailoring a design to the individual viewer, and this can create a sense of personal connection and relevance, which makes your designs Einstein tier. And designers can use specific things such as names, locations, and specific imagery, and this will personalize the design, as you've seen here for the Mackie D's design. The designer has cleverly made a burger from mobile phones, and that relates back to the act of ordering food, fast food, online. This advert, it actually targets mobile users, so it's really smart with a capital S. Now, if your audience are wealthy, business-orientated people, consider incorporating high-quality imagery of materials such as expensive leather, use elegant typography, and opt for refined colour palettes that evoke a sense of luxury and sophistication. But if your audience are teenagers, use bold and vibrant colours mixed with pulp cultural references. Simply just look at ways that you can speak their language and personalize your designs just for them. If you can master personalization in your designs, then you'll be at a whole other level, my friend. Your design skills might actually win you prizes worth hundreds of dollars by awards, typo one, and contrast foundry. Also some digital goodies by myself, Satori. But find out more about the prizes soon. ReadyMag is celebrating their 10th anniversary edition of Websites of the Year in 2023. The competition is divided into five categories, typography, interactivity, storytelling, impact, and self-promo. To get a feel of what kind of websites have won in recent years, here is an awesome entry by Ksenia Kovsharova that won last year back in 2022. Now it utilizes a strong color scheme and art style throughout the whole website, but also include some really cool interactive animations here with the cute and small mushies. And then a website by Vosk Design Studio which also won and it's a site that I truly adore. As you scroll down with your mouse, the website opens up outstanding animations and sweet typography A-game. To participate, all you need to do is dive deeply into your creative side and create a unique website. However, your project must be designed with ReadyMag and published on any subscription plan between October 10th, 2022 until October 27th, 2023. And also, you must have a mobile version of your website as well. All submissions must be sent in before October the 27th of this year, 2023, so that basically means you have around three months left. All those who submit their websites, or a few, and get shortlisted as nominees will get a chance to get my Satori Shinko fonts and my logo design e-guide in addition to the prizes promised by ReadyMag. I will choose five winners for my prizes shortly after the nominees are announced, and that's in an upcoming video in autumn. But the prizes, well, those who become the first place winners into the competition will get an awards professional plan for one year and an $800 gift card from Typo1 in the fonts and magazine store. 
Second place winners snag any fonts from Contrast Foundry with a total value of $400. And of course, everybody has a chance to win who enters. Also, all participants who get first and second in each category will receive a ReadyMag business plan for up to one year, in addition to getting a really special exclusive digital badge on their website, plus recognition through all ReadyMag social channels and a ReadyMag swag bag filled to the brim with design goodies. Check the link below to find out more about the ReadyMag websites of the year competition and how to participate. And of course, happy designing. Sometimes you get a design brief, you look at it and you think, how the hell am I going to pull this one off? It might be that the information or message you need to express in your design is complicated, but don't worry because this is where the next psychological technique comes into play. The topic of war and how to overcome war is quite a controversial topic and it's quite complicated to actually make a design for. But this design here simply uses visual metaphors to get the message across. When using visual metaphors, it's wise to include very few other elements and just allow the metaphor to speak for itself. Like here, this very clever design uses a Google map graphic to suggest a teardrop down the face. Again, very clever and very simple. Visual metaphors also really resonate very well with audiences and this makes your design more efficient, higher quality without doing a whole lot to be honest. The next psychological trick graphic designers use can be used in two different ways. So here's a branding project for models with minds. The logo for the brand itself uses a psychological trick that I'm going to talk about right now and can you actually notice anything in particular with this logo? But one key aspect of this logo design is that it's symmetrical. This plays into the psychological technique of aesthetic appeal. Aesthetic appeal can be used on a design to influence people or make them feel good simply through visuals. Designers carefully consider factors such as symmetry, balance, and visual harmony to create visually pleasing designs. But it can go way, way, way further than that. Take a look here at this marketing material for Jean-Paul Gaultier. I mean, it couldn't be more superficial if it tried, right? But it uses a trick that plays on the human mind. Harvard University talks about how when we see quote unquote attractive people, our brains release dopamine and feel good hormones. So designers know this and then they use it to make people feel good just through visual stimuli. But there is a complete flip side to this. Sometimes you might want the audience to feel the opposite reaction. The key difference can be seen between the old smoking adverts where smoking was seen as a good thing and when conventionally attractive models were used. Then later when smoking has now been seen as negative, models with no makeup on and that are not conventionally attractive are used so that a viewer subconsciously wants to distance themselves from the topic. Sounds crazy, I know, and it does sound shallow as well, and it probably is. But this is a tried and a tested method in graphic design, but also marketing. But yeah, aesthetic appeal can be the design itself in terms of symmetry, balance and all that good stuff, but also it could be the human form. But there are a lot more psychological techniques that graphic designers use and different ways to apply them. And to learn more about that, just click the video on screen. And until next time guys, design your future today. Peace. Peace.